The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Alongside CN Track and Field Coach David Needs, I'm Tanner Swift, and this is the Eagle Sports Network. Carson Newman gets ready to travel to Columbia, South Carolina for the University of South Carolina Open. And Coach, it's a meet that you just added a few weeks ago. What was the mindset behind it when you had that opportunity to make that trip and go do that this Saturday? Well, you know, you're always looking for uh, meets that you can get into and, and go. We wanted to make sure we satisfied our team requirements. We, we've done that. We were looking for a meet that we could take a couple of our athletes and maybe help their conference position. Traditionally, our conference, well, we haven't had it many times, but our conference meet last year was this coming week, and then we've pushed it later for the betterment of our athletes. And so we wanted to have a meet. We didn't want them to have off. We had off last week, and we didn't want to have off two weeks in a row. We thought this would be a great one to go to. It's a brand-new track, brand-new facility. And some of our athletes that are really trying to help their national position, this would be a great opportunity for them. It's kind of your little last, uh, last one of the last tune-ups prior to indoor conference. How do you feel about your team going into this weekend, knowing that uh, you're kind of right there, trying to compete for that conference yeah. championship? I mean, anytime you can go against an SEC school in yeah. competition, you're you're going to be in great shape. Um, that and and the, the idea that you know, an elevated runway, a hydraulic track, all those things that are that make an athlete give them that edge to be a faster competitor um, for us is is, is going to be the things that you want to look for in, in this meet. Because we want, um, we want to be mindful of being a conference champion, but certainly want to take as many athletes to nationals as we can. And so if this is a place that allows us to do that, let's do it. Last week's regional rankings had you at number four. This week, by just a point, you dropped yeah. back to number five. But how good does it feel for you? And, and on the men's program side, how good does it feel for you to see your name up there, especially ahead against a program like Wingate? Sure. Um, you know, I mean, we... In, in the regional rankings, again, we would we would love to be number one um, because that means that you're doing it across the board. Um, we're, we're, we're proud of our athletes this year because, I mean, you don't have a Tanner Step or Kieran, and you're still holding that position that we'd like to hold up there as, and competitive in, in the South Atlanta Conference, but also in the Southeast region. And so we, we want to keep improving. I mean, we want to be as high as we can. But if we're just region champs and not – send anybody to nationals we fail <laughs> so we want to make sure that that those regional athletes are becoming national athletes and that and that's what we hope if we're good in our region hopefully that's what's going to take anyways we've d discussed it multiple times not having a facility on campus mm -hmm. makes it tough you mentioned i think it was two weeks ago with the cold weather yeah. this week now with dealing with a lot of rain sure. but your team did a great job performing sure two weeks ago. What's that attest to what your athletes are able to do? Well, I think it attests to the fact that we've got really good assistant coaches that are really getting the job done and can take the worst. I mean, our distance runners are running at Mossy Creek and Mossy Creek is flooding. Um, <laughs> Coach Step is trying to get in the sand and it's either too wet or, 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 or snowing or whatever. He can't get in the sand, so he's got to do it in, in the gymnasium. Coach, you know, our sprinters are doing it in different spots. Our throwers are doing it in different spots. Coach Champ is working with the throwers inside as much as she can. The fact is, is that our, our athletes, no matter what the situation, they're not looking for an excuse to not succeed, but using whatever that's thrown at them as a way to, to get better. And that's, to me, that's where you, those are the kind of athletes that do well at nationals, at conference meets, and at region competitions. Coach, thank you for your time. Thank you. He's head coach David Needs. I'm Tanner Swift, and this is the Eagles Sports Network.